So tell me a little bit about the famous story of you um, meeting Sugihara. You were in your aunt's shop. Yeah, I, I came there, he was there already. He came there to buy some chocolates or something for his kids. And that's how I met a Japanese person I've never seen before. So I was kind of staring at him. And I had to come and say hello to his excellency, the Japanese consul. And he smiled at me and shook hands with a very, was very nice, he was a nice kid, nice person. And spoke perfect Russian. So that's how, we, so he said, that uh, he was giving me some money for the Hanukkah. And that's how we, we started the whole thing. I said, well, we are not a family. He says, I'll be your Japanese uncle for Hanukkah. You mean because he wasn't family, so you weren't prepared to take any money from him? Yeah. So I said, then why don't you come to our Hanukkah party on Saturday be my uncle? That's what was a spontaneous saying and that's how it started. And he came around? He came with his wife, so. And w w what was the address of your aunt's shop? I think it was on Kistucha. The street name is Kistucha, as far as I remember. And you don't know if the shop still stands? No. And the house where, where you were living um, in the, the apartment, he came around, him and his wife, and who was there of your family? Oh, all my uncles and aunts and cousins. Everyone came around for a Hanukkah Suda. Hanukkah Suda. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That was a different apartment though, because we were, when we moved from Idacook, for a short time we lived in a, a Vilnius Street, a different... Part. Vilnius Street? Yeah. Do you know what number? No. You don't remember the number. Um, and that's where he came for Hanukkah. Yeah, and w were you surprised when he turned up? Well, I said he's going to come. The guests were so surprised. <laughs> right. Did they know who he was? My hand didn't tell him. Right. Surprised. And Mrs. Sugihara, Mrs. Sugihara came. And the son, Yuroki, the young boy. Also came? Yeah. And um, did the people, did your aunts and uncles know who he was? No, they soon found out. Right. Because he was curious to hear what they have to say. He was actually an intelligence officer. Right. So, uh, that's the one. Maybe it was the reason he came, I don't know. And while he was there that time, he, somebody there discussed what had happened in Warsaw. Yeah, and there was a family that we had put in our house, a refugee, and right. his daughter. And he was the first one to approach him for a visa. At your house that time? Yeah. <laughs> and he was kind of surprised why he said that he wanted to go to Japan. Right. Since they were associated with the, with the Nazis. Right, they were allies. Allies. But then you know the whole story how it developed. Right. But this was the first time he had really come across the refugee problem at all was in your house. I don't know, the first but I think so. He probably was aware of what just happened. Right, in a general, but nothing personal. Nothing personal. And did you ever see him again? Yeah, I used to go there. That was in 1939. Right. It's when there was not in the war. Right. And, and he found out that I'm collecting stamps. Right. So I invited, we were not far from the embassy actually. So I used to go there and collect, get Japanese stamps from me. Right. And, uh, and I was uh, quite often actually. 
I used to play with the boys, uh, Rocky. He was a younger boy. 